Hi, good morning. It's Naomi from Encouragement from the Word of God. God is faithful. Today I want to encourage you with this beautiful scripture verse that I read from Exodus chapter 4, 4 and it's from verse 10 to 12. And it talks about Moses meeting Jesus, meeting God. And, um, and God speaks to Moses and God wants Moses to go and tell Pharaoh who at that time was holding the, uh, the Israel people on captivity. The Egyptians were holding Israel people on captivity and they were crying out to God and God hears the Israel people. And God wants Moses to go and approach Pharaoh and tell Pharaoh to let the people go. So Moses, when he meets God, and Moses says this thing, um, thing that we always tell God, something that we tell always tell our pastors we always tell our leaders that we are not eloquent we cannot talk we cannot do it we are not capable we don't have the qualifications to do the task that God is assigning us so let's listen to what Moses said to God and how God answered Moses that was the best answer that God gave Moses so Moses said in Exodus chapter 4, 4 verse 10 Moses tell uh, Moses tells God, uh, Moses said to the Lord, O oh my Lord, I am not eloquent either in the past or since you have spoken to your servant, but I am slow of speech of tongue. Then the Lord said to him, Who has made man's mouth? Who made him mute or deaf or seeing or blind? Is it not I the Lord? Now therefore go and I will be with you, mouth and teach you what you shall speak that's amazing when Moses says to God God I am not I have no eloquent speech my speech is really bad my I'm slow to speak God sent someone else I'm not able I'm not capable <clears throat> then God said wasn't I who created the man's mouth wasn't I who decided who can speak and who will be mute God is telling you and me today that God is the one who created us. He's the one who gave us the abilities. He's the one who gave us a mouth. And he's telling you and me to go and tell the good news. And sometimes we think we don't have the words to speak. We, do, we cannot, we are not capable. We, have, we don't have the knowledge. We don't have the speech that I should speak properly. I don't know how to speak properly. How am I gonna do it, God? I don't know, send someone else. And it says in the bottom of that, uh, scripture that God was angry with Moses because God couldn't understand why Moses was not ready to go and do the thing that God wanted Moses to do so but God had compassion on Moses for her for his weaknesses and God encourages and later on we can see how God uses Moses and his um, God sends his brother to help him at the beginning but in the end Moses does everything and God gave him the courage and God is encouraging you and me today we might tell God we are not suitable we are not capable we don't have the eloquent uh, um, abilities capabilities to do this God I cannot do this how am I gonna do it I don't have the knowledge the wisdom but God is saying wasn't I who gave you the mouth wasn't I who gave you the abilities God wants to use you just as you are the way you are God wants to use us because he is the one who created us and he's saying in this word specifically am I not the one who created your mouth am I not the one who determines who is mute and who is dumb uh, and God is able so I just want to encourage you with this word today. Whatever you are, might face in your life, you might say, I don't have the eloquent abilities to get this job. I don't have the eloquent abilities to speak in front of others about Jesus. But God is saying, I will give you the strength. I will be with you. God tells Moses many times, I will be with you. I will be with you. And God is telling you and me today that he will be with us. So let's pray together. Father, we come to you. We thank you, Lord, for your word. We thank you, Lord. Just like Moses, we come and tell you, Lord, we are not able. Give it to someone else who has the abilities, who has the talents, who have the boldness. Lord, we are weak and we are timid. Lord, I pray that you would help us in our timidness. Help us to trust in you, Lord.
Help us to know that you are with us. Give us your strength, Lord. I pray that you would help us to know that you are always with us, holding our hand, Lord, and that you are faithful. Lord, may you be glorified in our lives and use us for your glory wherever we go, whatever we do, that whatever we say, that people would see your name glorified through our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Sorry for the background noise. My daughter is in the room and she's making noises. Um, so I hope you heard me and um, I hope you were encouraged. Just want to um, sing to you with one song. Uh, it's a beautiful song. It's called Victory in Jesus. It's a hymn. <clears throat> I know you know this uh, hymn. So please sing with me. I heard an old, old story. How a Savior came from glory. How he gave his life on Calvary to save a wretch like me. I heard about his groaning, how his precious blood atoning. Then I repented of my sins and won the victory. Oh, victory in Jesus, my Savior forever. He sought me and bought me with his redeeming blood. He loved me ere I knew him, and all my love is due him. He plunged me to victory beneath the cleansing flood. I heard about his healing, his cleansing power revealing. How we made the lame to walk again and made the cause the blind to see. Then I cried to Jesus, come and hear my broken spirit. And somehow Jesus came and brought to me the victory. Oh, victory in Jesus, my Savior forever. He sought me and bought me with his redeeming blood. Oh, love me, or I know him, and all my love is due him. He plunged me to victory beneath the cleansing flood. I can tell you, just like Moses, I would have told God, I don't have the abilities, I am timid, I cannot speak, I am not good at this. God, I cannot do it. When I first joined the worship team uh, in our church at TLC and uh, when Nadine was approached by me and asked me if I can share something, even something small, I always refused. And when she approached me and asked me if I can do a solo, like the beginning of one verse, I always refused. For so many months I refused because I was afraid. But God has brought me so far. I think I have come a long way. Now I'm a little more bolder. I think God's strength is inside me. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit convincing me that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. So you and I, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. It might be, we might be broken vessels, but we are going to shine. We're going to be shining jars of God's glory through our life, through our weakness, through our impossibilities. God is going to see his glory shine through and me you and me and i hope that you encourage so read um, uh, if you can exodus chapter 4 was one was 10 to 12 where moses and god talk and how god tells moses and encourages him so i hope that it will encourage you as well have a good day god bless you